Now, I know your dad, you grew up and he's your yes. dad, but he kind, of, he kind of belongs to the world. Has that been strange for you? It is odd because there's a very marked divide between private and public, as yeah. there is, you know, with, with everybody to sure. an extent. Yeah. Um, and, and, and we have our, our, our private life, which is terribly ordinary and really quite dull. And I think people would be surprised <laughs> if I'm just saying, well, should we have a turkey or a goose for Christmas this year? And they want us to be talking about some enormous, great yes. big philosophical debate. All the time. And, and actually... Um, my father saying, what colour do you think I should paint the kitchen? Right. So there is that whole dimension. But then you go somewhere with him. I went out with him in Cambridge and you actually felt a frisson of excitement <laughs> travelling down the road in front of him because you could hear people going down the road going, oh, Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> and, then, and then you get some people going, oh, my God. And yeah. that is just bizarre. Yeah. And I think that to an... I don't even know that Dad himself has actually resolved this. Mm. Um, in terms of understanding how he is perceived by the outside world. I think even he hasn't really come to terms oh, wow. with the extent of his own fame. I can, I can completely understand but that. He's what? quite a modest person, yes. he's quite a humble person. Yeah. And so I think he could never think of himself oh in the terms that maybe other people he do. He also they keep so in touch with sort of popular culture. We you have know, kids. You, yeah, of course. <laughs> but he, yeah, of course. And that does make you do that. You know, and there's talk of him going to Glastonbury. Oh. And he's talked about I was One Direction. By that. And I yes. think, but that's amazing, isn't it? Uh, the One Direction thing was very funny. 